This year we actually have a coach and the entire team shows up for practices and everything, which we didn't have any coaches last year and we only could get like six or seven people to show up for practice and now we get everyone that comes out. That's Rich, captain of the men's club lacrosse team, comparing past team player performances to the present one currently competing this spring. i say there's more freshmen on the team this year, though we do have some upperclassmen and graduate people playing. We didn't really have much of a break. We only had pretty much half of December and January off. We practice pretty much right up until then. We just started up a couple weeks ago for practice. Rich and the rest of his team compete for the MNC Double L. Unlike regular athletics here at Hofstra, club teams admit players from any level and are more about fun and conditioning. First of all, we each pay dues to be on the team. Some of the kids could play D1 or didn't make the eligibility. Other ones are just you know, want to continue playing from high school. Some people are just new, just want to learn a new, another sport. So pretty much almost take any, anyone. I'd say there's a focus on having fun, but also there's a focus on practicing, showing up on time, and wanting to win. Uh, conditioning, you know, it's work, but you know, once you get past it at the first two days, it's fine after that. Despite a low volume of teams within the league, Hofstra men's club lacrosse still faces some stiff competition. Uh, we play Fordham, Binghamton, uh, Bloomfield, a few other schools like NYU, and we we'll also have a tournament uh, during our spring break down in Maryland for one weekend, playing all different schools down there. And what team would they love to defeat this semester? Well, in our division, we want to beat Fordham because that's the toughest team. We've already actually, we played in tournaments against them already in the fall and actually didn't lose a game, so we're looking good. Coming off a strong showing last semester, Rich is optimistic that their wave of success will carry over in the spring. Uh, different offensive and defensive maneuvers for the upcoming games. We're looking to actually make the playoffs and go pretty far. We were undefeated in the fall. Everyone seems to be pulling their weight to do fine. And that's it for this edition of Under the Radar. This is Camille Frenny. See you next time.